guys, happy Halloween. Today's video is going to be on this makeup tutorial right here. It is my first ever like special effects makeup tutorial, so bear with me. And this is going to be half voiceover and half me talking. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, then go ahead and keep on watching. All right, guys, so I pulled a bunch of inspiration pictures from Pinterest because I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. I've never done any type of face makeup or school makeup or any type of like FX makeup, um, but I really, really like one and then I also really like this one I also really like that one so I'm kind of just doing a mix of all of them and I'm gonna do like more of a colorful glittery type of skull and then on Christian I'm probably gonna do just like something like this we don't really know what we're doing I'm just gonna go along with it so I'm gonna start with doing something that I actually do know and that is my eyeshadow um, so I'm just using my Mac soft ochre paint pot to prime my eyelids. And then I'm just going to set that primer using this Tempura shade out of my Modern Renaissance palette. Just use any matte, like skin colored or light color shade, just to make sure that my eyeshadow blends out perfectly and I don't have any like splotchiness or patchiness. And just so you guys know, I probably am going to be like very, very dramatic with my eyeshadow. So if you guys see it like go all the way over here, it's because I'm going to wipe off the excess with a makeup wipe um, just so I can get that nice crisp one. But I want to make sure that I get it enough down here so that way I'm not left with like an empty patch between my wing and my shadow. Um, so just ignore that while I'm doing my eyeshadow because I know you guys are going to be like, oh my god, that is all over her face. So. So I'm going to take my Modern Renaissance palette again and I'm going to take the color Beyond Fresco and just take that on any blending brush and this is my Morphe M573. Alright, now I'm going in with my Juvia's Place Masquerade Mini palette and then I'm going to take the color Bori. It is a shimmer shade but I just, I really honestly don't care if this is like mattes on the crease or not just because it is like Halloween and I just want it colorful as possible so I don't really care to mix all these shimmer shades um, but like I said I'm going in with this bright pink color called Bori and I'm putting that on my transition shade as well With my Morphe E17 brush, I'm going to take the color Maqueda, which is this purple shade, and I'm going to work that into my crease. I'm going to go ahead and cut my crease and just kind of carve that out. I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and then my Sigma Concealer F70 brush. In case you guys are wondering why I'm so quiet and just not energetic, Christian and I both woke up at 5 a.m. yesterday. Then we went to Scarewinds at nighttime, so we were up for like 22 hours straight. And then we woke up with six hours of sleep this morning, and he went to work. And I've been running errands in the morning, so I'm like completely out of energy. And I'm also just trying to concentrate really hard on filming this because I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. So I think all over my lid, I want to take the My Little Pony collection um, eyeshadow palette and take this white shade right here. It's like a duochrome with bluish, purplish, pinkish, whitish, <laughs> um, and it's in the color Firefly. So I think I'm going to try that all over my lid and just kind of see what it looks like. I want to draw on some glitter right there at the crease because I did mess up the lines a little bit. So I'm going to use the Cila Magnificent Metals in the color Diamond Dust, which is the silver one. I want to add a little bit more color to the lid. So I'm going to go in with the My Little Pony collection from ColourPop again and use the Super Shock Shadow in the color Sunbeam, which is a really pretty purpley color. It 
looks way better to me so now I'm going to draw on my winged liner I'm just using my NYX matte liquid liner and I'll be right back so I'm gonna do that off camera real quick and then once that's done I'm going to just kind of clean up the lines right here and I'll be back all right guys, I guess it is voiceover time, so I'm going in with my Too Faced Born This Way foundation, and this is in the color Vanilla, and then I'm just taking my Morphe Beauty Sponge to blend that onto my face, and then, what's next? Oh, okay, I'm taking my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, and I'm going to conceal my under eyes, and then my T-zone area, and then I'm going to use that Morphe Blending Sponge one more time to blend that all in. And for some reason, I forgot to record this next part, but I just used my RCMA No Color Powder to set all of that concealer into place. And now to smoke out my lower lash line, I'm going back in with the Juvia's Place Masquerade Mini Palette, and I'm using the color Bori, which is the pink shade, and then I'm going to go in with the color Ma Makita, Maketa, um, that purple shade, and just place that underneath as well. All right, moving on to the fun part or the scary part. I just got this white face paint from Party City. It was like $1.99. I got the white color and the black color. And so you put like two little pointy parts right there on your nose and then just like color in the rest of your nose. And then you just kind of shade in the whole half of your face with the white color. Um, one tip that I would do, I had to actually wipe the bottom half of my makeup off because the foundation and then the white paint was just like mixing together really weirdly and like just getting all cakey and stuff. So I would definitely recommend not putting on foundation on the bottom half of your face and then just only doing the white paint. So here I am just literally coloring in the whole bottom of my face. Also, these brushes that I'm using are from Walmart, and they're like a dollar, so whatever you do, use your own makeup brushes, because these sucked by the end of it. I just use my own makeup brushes. Alright, now I'm just taking the color Bori from the Juvia's Place palette again. All the pink that you guys see is the Bori shade in this makeup look, so I'm just taking that and kind of outlining my white mask. All right, and now I'm just coloring my nose with that black face paint and I'm making sure I put that little um, like V-shaped tip top pointy thing at the top. I'm not sure why, but it just makes the mask look really cool. And then I'm also going to shade in the top little pointy part with the pink shade from the Juvia's Place palette again. Obviously you guys can use whatever color that you guys want to. I just wanted to do pink. And I know that black looks really patchy, but I'm going to go over it with a better makeup brush. And now I'm just moving on to the teeth. So what you do is literally just draw like straight lines up and down. Also keep in mind however far or however big you want the teeth to be is how far you're going to spread those lines apart. So if you want bigger teeth, obviously spread the lines apart even more. If you want smaller teeth, put them closer together. All right, and then I'm taking a little fatter of a brush and then I'm kind of just like shading in the inside of my mouth and then drawing that straight line out from the teeth. Um, it's just like a nice horizontal line. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just however far you want it to be just kind of depends on how big the mouth is. And then just make sure you get that inside part of your mouth really, really good and really dark. So this next part is really precise, but this is really where you're going to make the teeth look real. So you're just going to do almost like a circle, but like kind of forgetting that top part and just kind of giving the teeth the illusion that they're like curved and real that just makes them stick out more and just makes them look okay Christian running behind my background um but this just gives the teeth the illusion that they're real and kind of like poking out at you and just gives it way more dimension Now I'm taking that pink shadow once again and kind of like shading underneath my mask and then I'm shading in my teeth with that pink shade. You guys can do this with black or with blue or whatever color you guys want to do but I just want pops of pink so I'm trying to put them as many places as I can so I'm just shading in those teeth. Again you guys can do it with whatever color you'd like. And now I'm going in with the vertical lines that we did for the teeth and just kind of shading it up even more and drawing it out even more, giving it more emphasis and making it look more real. Honestly, I don't know guys, I'm just kind of winging it. If you guys want to do this, you can. Make it your own thing. And here's Christian coming in with a kiss and now I'm moving on to the cheekbones and carving them out. I'm drawing it with my NYX liquid liner. You guys can honestly use black liner for all of this look but I just wanted to try the black face paint um, and most of the time I've gone over all of it with my black liner just because it's really really black and really pigmented and it's not like splotchy or anything. Um, and so now I'm just kind of you know carving out that cheekbone. I'm not really sure what I'm doing but I'm kind of following the picture that Crispy had. And 
And now going in with black face paint, I'm going to just carve out that little area in the back and just make that super, super black. And then once you get to that little um, cheekbone area right here, I'm going to make it super, super dark right up near the lines. And then I'm going to kind of fade it out just to give it some more dimension. And then kind of fading out that pink in there and adding that pop of color like I said you guys don't have to use the pink if you want to use a different color you can or if you just want to leave it like blank white you totally can do that too all right and then down here on the chin area I tried to draw some cracks they may look kind of stupid to you guys but I don't know honestly I was just kind of messing around with it um, and then I just used a really really fine tip brush again that one sucked um, and now I'm just deepening up my nose using that same black paint just to make it super super black and now I'm taking my Perversion Mascara from Urban Decay and coating those lower lashes. Now taking that pink shade one more time, I'm just kind of carving out my temples with a big fluffy brush. And to top the look off, I'm adding some glitter. Of course, I'm using the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter in the color Distortion. This is optional. You can use it if you guys want to. All right, guys, so this is it for today's school tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!